Hey, congratulations on coming to the Get Reading website, which means you know what you've got to do, Get Reading. Anyway, here's the story behind the story. Hello, I'm Hannah Richel, author of The Shadow Year. My new book is the story of a group of friends who stumble upon an abandoned cottage in the middle of nowhere, and they decide that they're going to seize the place and live there for 12 months, trying to live off the land completely self-sufficiently. And what starts off for them as an experiment of great joy and great excitement soon spirals into darkness and even tragedy. For me, I always knew that the story was going to hinge upon a sense of place. I had to find a place uh, that offered a real remoteness, a wildness, where the characters could explore their own true natures. And when I thought about the Peak District, I knew straight away that it was the place it had to be set in. And the Peak District is an area in England, it's right in the heart of the country, um, it's very beautiful, very rural, um, and it offers a very sort of varied landscape of moorland and farmland and forest land. Um, so it felt like a really great place to explore as a writer. But my problem was that I'd only ever spent a weekend there before, and that was quite a while ago. So I ended up doing a fair bit of research as I wrote the book, and I found that the more I researched about the landscape, the more it actually helped to inform the plot, and it even threw up a few twists as well for me, which was very exciting as I was going along. When the opportunity came to visit the Peak District, it actually came this year after I'd handed the book to my publisher, so it was too late to change anything, but I couldn't resist going to the area that I'd been reading and writing about so much. So in April of this year, I arrived there with my family, and it was a week when England was blanketed in unexpected snow, and it was absolutely beautiful. We spent a fair bit of time in, in the house that we had rented, and one morning, absolutely sick of being stuck inside, we took a trek up a hill. And I'd been having these nagging sort of doubts about the story that could a group of friends really stumble upon an abandoned cottage, and was my story a stretch too far? And bizarrely, as we reached the top of this snowy hill, um, there was this place just standing there, a stone building, exactly as I'd described in my book, um, completely empty and just crows circling around these sort of leafless trees. And it was one of those moments where it was just remarkable to me to see something that I'd pulled from my imagination standing there in stone. And it felt like a real validation of everything that I've been working on. So it was very exciting. And I really hope if you read The Shadow Year that uh, you find it as exciting a story as I did to write.